this is an important diagram because he points out in, in this small talk that the first letter, uh, which is Anuttara, which is the essence of everything, that's a, that resides, he says, this, this goddess of the alphabet resides in Muladhara Chakra. And this whole idea of the alphabet within our own body, the, at least the vowels in the central column or in Shashumna, you know, shows that this, this whole story of the alphabet is really the story of our own unfolding. So um, just wanted to pull that diagram up again when he talks about this goddess uh, is not serpent, you know, she, she resides in, in Muladhara Chakra. So this is the, uh, this is the text. And it's from the, the third, as again, extract from Shiva Sutras 2, number 3. Of course, the commentary is really about half an hour, but I've extracted the essential th uh, 10 minutes of, of that for us. For such great yogi, the mantra, that supreme I, universal I, mantra is here, universal I, not individual I. The Plunger of that universal I is explained in this next sutra, third. Vidya Shri Rasatta Mantra Rahasyam. Mantra Rahasyam, the secret essence of mantra is establishment in the body of knowledge of oneness. Vidya Shri Rasatta. Knowledge is here meant supreme knowledge of oneness, monoistic thought. Uh, in real sense, that is. Supreme God, who is the formation of collection of all sounds. All sounds are stored there. All sounds are created from there, from that point. So in other sense, this state of God consciousness is that God consciousness which is we should obey the mind, one with universe and filled with supreme I consciousness. This is the essence of all mantras. Not Om Namah Shivai, Om Namah Bhagavate Vasudevai. These mantras are not mantras in real sense. Mantra is that supreme I consciousness. This is Upanishad. This is secret. This is also quoted in Sri Tandra Sadbhava Tantra. Sarve Varnathmaka Mantra, Teja Shaktyatmaka Priye. Shaktistu Matrika Geya Sachi Geya Shivatmika. All letters are actually one with mantra. And those mantras are one with energy of Lord Shiva, Mother. And that mother is one with Lord Shiva. Yasatu Matrika Devi Parteja Samanita Taya Vyaftam Yidam Visham Sabrahma Bhuvanantakam. That Supreme Divine Mother, who is filled with Supreme Prakasha, Supreme Light, that Divine Mother has pervaded the whole universe up to Brahma Loka. O Devi, just as all letters are found in first letter, O, uh, first letter holds all the uh, collection of letters. In the same way, the whole uni universe is found in that Supreme Devi, Divine Mother. And that Divine Mother is placed in the Bindu, Bindu of heart. Heart is not here. Heart is everywhere in body. Heart is the center of awareness. O Parvati, there you will find that Divine Mother. She is just like the serpent. She takes rest there near rectum and that place is called by our masters Muladhara. In addition that goddess after placing in her body Chandra, Moon, Agni, Fire, Ravi, Sun, Nakshatra, all stars and all the 14 worlds. She is absolutely unaware of all this happening in her own nature. She is asleep. And she does not perceive anything other than her own self. But how to awaken her? You can't awaken her with push. She can be awakened only by nada. 
Paramarsha, Supreme I Consciousness, which is the body of energy which is situated, which is established in the body of uh, Divine Mother, Kundalini. That body of energy is, is also churned by this awareness. So, you have to churn your point of uh, one-pointedness again and again, again and again without without any break. Turning means when you put sparks of awareness in it, one after another, one after another. If you put only one spark, that spark will get faded and there will be no awareness in course of time. So, let one spark fade and put awareness afresh again. Let that fade and put again fresh awareness. In the same way, you, you have to put that fresh awareness in continuity. And when you put fresh awareness in continuity, first you will feel that everywhere, right side, left side, front, back side, up, down, everywhere you will feel lights going on. Bindava means lights, all lights. And you will feel that filled with very dense lights. By those lights and that nod, that Kundalini gets rise. And in the body of that Kundalini, there Sadaka finds Bindu. Bindu means it is a kind of, how can I explain it to you? It is a kind of supreme semen, supreme virya that gets agitated there, because the formation of Kundalini is of that supreme semen. It is not that individual semen. It is something beyond and it is um, experienced only by yogis. Just imagine how joyous his formation would be by this, because she is formed with this. The formation of that body is of that supreme semen. That is Bindu. When that rises, what happens next? The yogi comes out at, at once because there is no tolerance of that joy of nectar that he experiences there. He cannot tolerate that, so he comes out. It isn't just natural. Just he reaches that state, he comes out. It is the way it happens to everybody. So, what you have to do there? You have to go again, again and again inside. Don't think that you have lost anything. Go and maintain awareness of that oneness and go in inside again and again. Don't wait for master's direction. Go inside again and again. Because the way of moksha is stopped. And by these energies of Divine Mother of Kundalini, nine classes of letters have risen, that is Navvark, Avark, Kavark, Chavark, Tavark, Tavark, Pavark, Yavark, Shavark, all, 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 all these classes of letters take rise from that uh, Mother Divine Kundalini. There are five sacred states of self that rise from this Kundalini. That is Ishan, Tatpuri, Sadojat, Vamdev and Agor. These five uh, mouths of Lord Shiva have appeared from this Kundalini. So, Lord Shiva can speak to public. Lord Shiva can help. Lord Shiva can preach, explain everything because of these five mouths. But those five mouths take rise from Kundalini. So, Lord Shiva is dependent to Kundalini. And now take three speeches, supreme, medium and inferior. In heart it is said to be centered in that supreme sound, supreme speech, that is Pashanti. In throat it is Madhyama speech and tongue is the center of Vaikri speech, when you speak words. So, heart is the center of Pashanti speech. Throat is the center of Madhyama speech. 
and tongue is the center of why Chris speaks. So this whole universe resides on sound and that sound is carried from that soundless center of Kundalini. It is why all these letters rise from that supreme center of that energy of God consciousness, that is Divine Mother. And all mantras which are recited by sadhakas, those mantras also get virya, strength and splendor from that supreme uh, Devi of God Consciousness, Kundalini. It is why that Matrika and Mahalini, these two ways of these letters get rise from this Kundalini Bhagavad. Now you should know Shiva Sutras are actually the most sacred and uh, essential thoughts of Lord Shiva. So we have given references of so many tantras in this. Mm. So you should not get worried for our giving so many references here. They are to make you understand what is in real sense Kundalini. But if you don't understand even then, you should take hold of the feet of your master. Namaste, Rusu.